Hi everyone, my name is Gerard Way and I'm happy to welcome you to Annie Montgomery's largest exhibition of works titled Hand-Me-Downs here at the Yorkshire Sculpture Park. When Annie first asked me to make this video, um, I was very honored and very thrilled and also very scared because I'm generally not good at this type of thing and I'm really not good at public speaking or anything that feels like public speaking in a kind of obvious way. So um, I'm giving it my best shot and we're going to go and I love Annie so here we go. I first discovered Annie's work on the internet possibly like a lot of people here and um, you know we are, we all see thousands upon thousands of images of things on the internet and and work people are doing and various things but when I saw Annie's work it really spoke to me and I realized I was looking at something that I hadn't seen before. Um, it had a few things going on at once and it was really hard to pin down, but you knew what you were looking at was miraculous. And, you know, there was elements of taxidermy in some bizarre way, but there was elements of uh, storybook characters, um, children's books. Um, they had these really old battered clothes and they just felt like they were telling you a story. They were telling you what their story was. And so um, I had gone down a bit of a rabbit hole, um, you know, looking and saving, looking at and saving tons of images of Annie's work. And then um, in following the work, I, I found out that she was going to be selling some of these. And um, <clears throat> That really surprised me. Not not that somebody's selling their work, but it was clear that what Annie was doing was at such a fine art level that it was surprising to you to be able to think you could just go onto you know a website and buy them. Um, and so what I did was probably just like anybody else that wanted to get one of Annie's pieces. Um, I set a bunch of reminders leading up to the day and I set an alarm to make sure I was up and that I had enough time and be awake enough to um, to get Rosie. And so when I first saw Rosie, I knew right away that I just had to have her in my life. It was uh, just, she's just really special and um, there's so many things even just happening with her. There's like this sadness, you know, but she also looks really kind and really innocent. And I had been working on, um, working on, since art school, I had, I had always wanted to write uh, a book, like a fantasy book. And so around that time, I started to formulate ideas and I would keep adding to it years and years and years later. Um, obviously like I did other things and I, um, I played music and I made music with my friends and we did that for a long time and I also did comics, but you know, in the back of my head, I'd always thought, oh, I would love to write a book, you know, a, a fiction book. And, um, you know, growing up, obviously I was interested in science fiction and fantasy. And so I'd been working on this fantasy story and, um, when I saw Rosie, I, immediately thought to myself, I think this, this, this creature, this, this character wants to be in my story. Um, and it, I've never had that happen before. I've never actually like looked around and seen, you know, uh, a work or an object and been like, that needs to be in this story I want to write one day. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so it was uh, a little stressful. I was able to pull the trigger fast enough. And, um, and then uh, Rosie showed up and she was even more amazing than the pictures. And the pictures are amazing. So, you, you know, you have to imagine what it's then like to, um, to hold her and, and her friends, you know. Um, like, it's just out, outstanding <laughs> it's, and it's outrageous and it's beautiful. And um, so, you know, I got to know Annie because, um, uh, you know, I explained who I was and, and that I was writing this this book and she was so 
happy and excited about that. And, um, you know, I think one of the cool things that um, makes an artist happy is to inspire another artist. And I think she's inspired a lot of people with these for various things, maybe writing their own books or something. But um, yeah, so here's her show. Um, I've seen the pieces and they're incredible. Have a good time. Congratulations, Annie. And thank you, Yorkshire Sculpture Park, for having this event and for having me take this introduction. Bye-bye.